we will now see some settings that can help us to control behavior of our prompt. First, I will run this report in HTML format, and we will see that this prompt is mandatory. It has this red star here, and also this finish button is disabled. That means that we have to select something, so I will select uh, month May, and then I can click on finish button and I will get my result. But how we can control whether prompt is optional or mandatory? Well, for that, we will go back. And first, we have to remember that this prompt is controlling filter. So we will go to our query and then we will click on filter. And then we will see this uh, setting here. I will change this setting to optional. I will then run my report again. And now uh, my prompt is optional. That means that I can select something, but I don't have to. I, I will not select anything. I will just click on finish button and I will get all of the data because there is no filter. I will now go back. Now we can also disable this filter. We can change this to disabled. And we will now run our uh, report again. And we will notice that now our prompt is mandatory. So why is now our prompt mandatory? Well, to explain that, we will go back and we will go to our prompt page. We will select this prompt and we will notice that here we have another setting. Now this setting is only valid if this prompt is not controlling filter. If prompt is controlling filter, then we have to use those other settings. Those other settings are the only ones that are active and valid. And this setting here will be unactive. It will be not of importance. But if, because now we don't have uh, our filter, we can use this setting. So I will change this setting to uh, optional. I will run my report again, and we will see that now our prompt is optional. So it all depends on that, whether our prompt is controlling filter or something else. If it, our prompt is controlling filter, then we have to use those settings uh, that are uh, used to control uh, our filter here. So we have to use these uh, settings. But if we don't use a uh, prompt to control filter, in that case, we have to select our prompt and we have to use uh, this uh, setting here. Uh, let's now see some other settings for our prompt. We will go here to properties pane. We will go down here and we will look at all of these properties here. Now we can uh, notice that most of these properties are already familiar to us. But there are some new properties. For example, this property contained text direction is used for those uh, languages that can be written from uh, right to left and so on. I don't know anything about this, so I will just uh, skip that. We also have this property visible. So we can change visibility of our prompt. We can make it invisible. And in this case, we have one problem. We cannot select our prompt. We cannot see it, so we cannot select it. And in this case, we should go here to this menu we can choose this option page structure and here we can select our prompt and then in properties pane uh, we can change that property to uh, default and we will now see our prompt again if we jump to page design here is our prompt now here at the bottom uh, we can uh, change some texts now what are those texts well if we go to see our prompt in action we will notice that at the top of our uh, prompt we have this a name of parameter. We have power month key. And we can control this uh, text. We will now go back. And to control that, we will use this first option, header text. So why do we have so many options if this one is the only one useful? Well, that is because we have uh, many different uh, prompts. And for those other prompts, we can use uh, these other options. But for our value prompt, we can only use this first option. So I will click here. I will click on three dots. I will choose this specified text. I will click again on three dots and I will uh, enter here my default text. And I will choose, choose month. We can also enter different terms for different languages. For that, we can please click here on this plus. We can select some languages. I will select uh, these two. And then we can double click on this language and we can type some term here. And, so, and then I will double click here. I will type some term here. And now we have different term for different languages. If users are using these other languages, then they will see these other terms. I will not do that. So I will just delete this 
uh, two terms and I will just leave default text. I will click on OK and then again on OK. And if we now run our report, we will notice that at the top of our uh, prompt, uh, we have this text choose month. Now we will go back to see that we can also delete this text. If you again go to our uh, dialog, I will click on these three dots. I will delete this uh, default text. I will just then click on OK and then on OK. And if we now run our report, we will not see any text at the top of our uh, menu. There is no text and there is no that line that was uh, below our text. So we only see options that can be selected. Let's go now to the top of this properties pane to see some other properties. First, we have this property data format. Now, we are currently using prompt that is using strings as items. But let's assume that in this prompt we have dates. In that case, we would be able to control formatting of those dates. We would click here on these three dots. We will select a date data type and then we will use these options to control its format. Uh, next property that we will look uh, is these static choices, but this property I will skip for now. Uh, then we have uh, rows per page. I will change this number to some small value, and then I will run our report. Now we won't see all of the items inside of our prompt, but we will only see first five items. I will change this back to 5000, and I will run our report again to change everything back. Then I will skip this property with the name properties. Uh, then I will go to this property multi-select. Now, till now, we were always selecting just one month, but it is also possible to select several months. And for that, we have to change many things. First, we have to change uh, this option. We have to enable it. After we do that, we will notice that our uh, prompt changed its view. We can also change this view uh, further, so we can change it, for example, to check box groups, and then our prompt will look like this. But we have to change one more thing. And for that, we will jump here to our query, and we will select our filter. We will open it, and we have to change this operator. We cannot use operator equal, we have to use operator in. And why is, that? Why is this? Uh, this is because this parameter here, uh, will now return several values. It will return a list of values, so we have to use in operator. I will click on OK, and then I will run this report, but before that I will turn on uh, this uh, filter, so I will change this to required. I will now run uh, this report, and we will see that we can now select several months. I will select February, March, and I will click on finish, and we would get a result that has all of those months. I will now uh, go back. I will go back to prompt page to our prompt. Uh, then we have this property auto submit. We have property cascade source. We have property pre populate. And I will skip all of these properties for now. Uh, then we have this property hide adornments. Now, currently our uh, prompt is required. If I run this report, I will notice that here we have this uh, red star. But we can uh, change that, we can remove that red star, I will enable this option hide adornments, and then again I will run this report, and we will not have that star now. There is no star, but we can notice that this uh, prompt is still mandatory, so only star is hidden, and this is why we use uh, this property hide adornments for. I will skip this uh, property range, and then we have this property default selections. Here we can uh, pre-select some values. I will click here on this plus button and I will add some value. For example, three, we are, I'm using three for month March. And because we are using now a multi-select, because it is turned on, I can select several default values. So I will click on plus and I will again uh, select month May. I will click on OK and then on OK. And what will happen now? If we now run our report, we will have two months already pre-selected. So they're already pre-selected. We can change this, but these are default values. And every time when we open a prompt, we will see these two months selected. 